hello today we are going to look at um, integration so how to use the calculator to calculate for integration and with this part of integration that is the definite integral so for the indefinite integral you have to solve it manually then for the definite integral you can use the calculator so in order to save what time for the definite integral it means anytime you have been given what the upper limit and the lower limit you get it so let's look at how to do it you see on this key we have what the integral value we have the upper limit here and the lower limit and any function given right so we press on this key shift one okay so we press here all right so now that is integral value of the upper limit lower limit and the function right so what is the um, function we have x squared let's open brackets x squared right plus one over x squared again then we close the brackets you see the dx dx is here so we need the lower limit which is one and the upper limit which is two and we are done okay all that you need to do is you press on the equal sign and you wait for your answer so your x your x is equal to 2.83 okay yes you see how it's kept long before coming that is why it is most advisable to use the um, white version of calculators um, the one that is used by the engineers yeah. I'll just send a picture of it so that you try to get one so that during exam time you don't find any delaying or any difficulties okay then for the second part of the question um should i leave it to you for you to solve it or okay let's solve it together i'll give you one to try so you press on the same key again your function you open brackets you divide and there is what um x minus one bracket closed another bracket x uh, squared minus two x minus two you close your brackets divided by x squared right then you close the whole bracket now it is left with your lower and the upper limit so one two okay you press on your cross sign and you wait for your answer okay so your x is should be the solution and your x is equal to what negative 0 0.5 so negative 0 0.5 that is negative one and two okay yes so this is how to use the calculator to solve for um, definite integral in our next video we are going to meet for another topic thank you for watching this video and see you the next time